welcome to Jody's Corner of Jody'sCorner.com. As you guys can see, this is a movie review of 1917, directed by Sam Mendes. This is a, a World War I tale of a journey of a couple of soldiers who are tasked with a very important mission from getting a, an important letter, a message, to a general way across the lines to let them know that what him and his 1,600 soldiers are going to do is going to get them all killed. So it's really important. So this film takes place from going from point A <clears throat> to point B. And that's really all it is. And it's the journey in between. And the big, huge uh, uh, fluff about this movie is it's, oh, it's one take. The directors kept the scene going from scene to scene. It follows them all the way through. And <clears throat> from what I've seen for the most part, it is that. And, and it's that direction style that is the highlight of this movie. It, it even, it, it rivals the set pieces, you know, from seeing abandoned buildings to big open Saharas and all these big planes and uh, bullets, explosions, uh, old school looking uh, stuff that you see in those World War One documentaries and you've seen in other films. The direction style even rivals that. Because the way that he chose to direct it, like say there's a scene where they're running and you could and you, the camera's following behind them and all this stuff is going on, you kind of feel like you're there with them. It makes it feel like you're there behind them running, trying to keep up with them to get away, to get away from danger. And it's more intimate, it feels more real, and it makes the experience a lot more real and it makes the experience overall better. So the direction style is the highlight of this. Uh, the characters were... The characters were did a good job. Um, there's little scenes put here and there that just pop into into the, the film and they're gone. And that's how war is, though, man. That I can believe that. It's totally believable how, you know, getting from point A to point B and coming across these obstacles. And they do come across some serious obstacles. And um, it's just really a, a eye candy spectacle. I was just uh, I was visually uh, stunned by it. I really enjoyed seeing the art and that's what it was to me it was absolute it was art and even though it's a war film and you know there's some violence in there i just appreciated the the style of film i, I appreciated the, the film choice it really it, it really made me feel like there's new levels to this to hollywood to directing to movies I feel like Hollywood's gotten complacent with a certain type of directing. Like, like it makes me think of, um, I just reviewed it for my sponsors. It was, it's called uh, rope 1948 Alfred Hitchcock. And you know, the, the, the shtick behind that is like, Oh, it, it, it all looks like one take one big giant take. And the way he directed it was masterful. And I'm like, it does look like it was all done with one long take. You can see the edits and all that because it's old and you can clearly see what's going on. But it does give the impression that it's all one take and the actors are just incredible in that movie. But that's what I'm saying. That was decades. That was generations ago. And here we are with this 1917 movie that's lending itself to something that happened generations ago. So we were already doing stuff like this over 50 years ago. And here we are in 2019, and because a film like this comes out that was over 70 years old, it gets all this attention and praise. That goes to show you that we're being a little bit lazy in Hollywood and we need to step our freaking game up. We're lacking out here. So anyway, back to the, to the film. I think the film is overall good. It's immersive. I believe that the film is slightly overhyped because I don't like this movie as much as everybody else. Red Oscar, best picture, best this, best that, best director, best... best. I don't really see that. Um, I'm going to keep it 100% honest with you guys. This is a good movie. This is good. There's uh, Do I have any negatives about this film? Uh, there's a couple of parts in the beginning, in the first act, that gets kind of stale, but they pick up. They pick up in the second act. I can't really think of anything really, truly bad with this film, and that's a good thing. Score was good. But it's like, just because you're steady and you're good and there's nothing really wrong, it's it's it, it has a ceiling. 1917 has a ceiling, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, 1917 is not the best war movie that came out in 2019. It's not even the best war movie. That is going to Midway. Midway hit on all levels for me. Uh, I think Midway is uh, superior to 1917 on most fronts 
you know, the direction of 1917 really helps. If if 1917 director did uh, Midway, maybe we're talking about a, a juggernaut icon. Who knows? But the director of Midway did a good job as well. So uh, I feel like if you guys are, are coming and creaming over 1917, that's great because I am too. But if you haven't seen Midway, I recommend seeing Midway as well. So you can kind of weigh the two. You know, the Battle of Midway, it, it taught me a lot because I didn't know about it. And especially since I saw the World War II documentary. So Battle of Midway is World War II, 1917, World War One. So that's a big difference, right? So you should definitely watch both. You get World War One and World War Two in the same year. That's freaking amazing. But that doesn't really take away from 1917 at all. This is a good film. It's just like I'm not in love with it like everybody else is. And there's nothing absolutely wrong with that either. So with that, with that said, I give 1917 the grade that it deserves. And the grade that I that it deserves is not a bad one, but it, it reflects how I feel about the film. Don't judge me. It's just how I feel about 1917, and I'm going to give it a B. I'm sorry. Yeah, man, you know, 1917 is a good film. I definitely recommend you guys go check it out. As far as Oscar all this, Oscar all that, I could see direct directing. I could see... <sighs> probably it thank you guys so very much for watching put down in the comment section what you guys think am i tripping what did you think of midway what did you guys think of 1917 uh subscribe to the channel for more real content i'm jody joe and i'm out this day man deuces <laughs>